November, back in November, we went to Singapore and I started filming some montages and I decided it will be cool if I showed you guys the pictures and videos that I took and voiceover so I could show you the food that we ate. And shout out to our cousin Vanessa, she was our tour guide for the day and she brought us to a lot of different places and we had lots of fun. So our main transportation was either by metro. They had this really cute um, stairs where they lit up every time you stepped on it. I guess we were the only one who noticed it or rather like tried to have fun with it. And I bet everyone thought we were crazy. You could see that my sister is just having way too much fun with it as an adult. So we also had to walk a distance when we were transferring lines and they had this like uh, sidewalk of challenges where they let you jump and dance on it and I guess again my sister is having way too much fun with it and then afterwards we arrived at Bugis I believe and uh, they had this really big pink kind of Christmas tree it was actually a dancing lady but it looked like a Christmas tree and of course we had to take pictures and then of course being girls we had to go shopping and we were at top shop i believe and we basically tried out a lot of different accessories and took pictures and i and oh my god we just messed around so much i bet the staffs wanted to kick us out and then we arrived at the food court and we ordered a soy ramen which has a soy milk Base, and it was actually really good like I would totally go back but I don't even remember where it was and after lunch of course we had to have dessert I think everyone knows the girl had like another stomach for dessert Vanessa introduced us to this kind of like yogurt land and it's called Lao Lao I believe and it's so good like oh my god uh, we ordered the the whole cup I don't even remember what it's called it's like a sundae we have the frozen yogurt the fruit and then cookie crumble and then more frozen yogurt and then we had this uh, topping that we could choose and we chose cookie butter and Oh my god, it is so good, like, oof. So we went to Etuid House, and they have this, kind of like the Cinderella pumpkin house, but it's like Etuidified, it's really pink and stuff, and we ended up just sitting in there and eating Lao Lao, and then taking pictures, and we were basically hanging around the mall, because we didn't really have a lot much to do, and it was raining, so we just hung around the food cart, because that's the best place to go. Like, there was this whole entire row of gelato, and it looked so good they had like really weird flavors too. and then while we were walking around the food court there was actually this stall that sold rice dumplings i normally don't eat rice dumplings because i'm not really a big fan of it but this one is so good like whoa and then they also sold this uh rice cake it's called did they go from what I know and it's uh, this kind of steamed rice powder filled with peanut or black sesame or a coconut sugar filling and it's kind of chewy and kind of like cake but instead of flour it's made out of rice and yeah it's actually really good it's steamed and then they put it on this bamboo I believe bamboo leaf as the bottom and it's you just eat it and it's actually really good and then after the mall we went to people's park which is like a shopping slash food court center where older older seniors like to hang out with and then we went to get food again and we passed by this stall right it's basically this bread ice cream if you've never heard of it and basically they take a block of ice cream they slice it into a slice and then sandwiched ice cream with the pink and green tie-dyed bread it's not that special but it's actually pretty good so if you see a stall you should definitely go try it out one time and then we got this um type of jello from the same fruit stall and it's called aka aka or agar agar and instead of gelatin it's actually made out of seaweed after we got the uh jello we got a uh, papaya it's this kind of radish wrap that's made out of the wrap i'm not really sure how to describe the wrap but it's kind of like burrito wrap but way thinner and then they have uh and then they put in hoisin sauce, peanuts, vegetables, and then um, fried radish. It's uh, pretty good and you should try it next time you get to go to Singapore. After we um, bought that, we went to eat ice kacang, which is like the shaved ice with um, different rose syrup, pandan syrup, uh, I believe brown sugar syrup, and sometimes corn. And then it's this really soft shaved ice and then they have different types of fillings in the bottom and it's a classic in Singapore so if you if 
it's your first time going, you have to get that. It's really good. And then after eating the ice, we got more food. We actually got this um, bun. It's like this salted molten egg yolk custard up, uh, bread. And you open it and the egg custard just flows out. And then after we were um, done hanging out at People's Park, we actually went home. And then we went back to Vanessa's house. And after eating all of that, we went back to eat dinner again. <laughs> that was prepared by her mom. Her mom is awesome. And her whole family is. Shout out to her whole family. They're so cool. Super cool. Super chill. And her mom um, made this vegetarian dinner for us. Just for us. Thank you very much. And she made pasta um this salad and then they had this cheese platter and ooh, and oh my god it's so good i i, I want it right now <laughs> then after um we ate we chilled a while we went swimming in their community pool and just you know swam and chill for the rest of the night it was really fun and yeah that's what we did for the whole day hanging out with vanessa and so yeah so shout out to vanessa and their family and bringing us everywhere thank you very much we had lots of fun and yeah peace